Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Katrina and I'm jumping right into today's tutorial. I have an awesome video, a fun one. I posted a reel, I posted a short, and I posted a TikTok of this video. Everyone has been asking me pretty much the same question. How did you make the sneaker shoelace tumbler with the bling, all of that? And where did you get all the products to make it? So in today's video, I got you covered. I'm gonna show you step by step how I made that tumbler and where you get all the accessories to spice it up, all right? And everything you see will be linked down below as well as the sneaker templates. Um, I have so many different colors, designs that you can purchase in my store. So if you like what you see, if you want to make your own and you want to sell them, I have all of the digital files for you for a low price in my store on katrinasgracefulcreations.com. So I'm gonna stop talking because I wanna take you through this whole entire process and I'm gonna create and show you how you can make your own sneaker shoelace tumbler, okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm giving you guys all the deets, all the goods. I'm teaching you guys all this new stuff to upscale your tumblers. Sort of like when I did the Coach Purse String Tumbler, all right, here it is right here. I did the coach purse strap. So all of these little nice fancy jewels and stuff that you can get, all these designs to make your tumblers, you know, stand out, to take them to the next level, to elevate them, to get a little bit more money for them. So this tutorial is linked down below in the description box as well. All right, so without further ado, you're going to need a 20 skinny ounce tumbler. Mine is coming from the stainlessstilldepot.com. So you're gonna need your sublimation printer, whatever sublimation printer you like. I'm using my converted Epson EcoTank 8550. You'll see it later. Of course, you'll need the template and I will show you how to design the template from start to finish. Of course, you'll need a sublimation mug press. Does not have to be an oven, but I am using my sublimation oven. This is the PYD Life one. It, um, some people ask me the one that I had and the other one. So I was like, what is that big box you're using? It's a sublimation oven. I have so many videos on my channel already. All the unboxings of all this one. This one is from PYD Life. It's linked down below. It is in my Amazon store. Um, but the other one was from Heat Transfer Warehouse. That's the one that I had first before this one. You can fit up to like 10 tumblers in there. So if you want a bigger one, you can definitely check that one out. You will also be needing your shoelaces. So this was one huge long strap. You can get them in various colors. Had I known I was gonna be doing this color template design, I would have gotten it red. So just stay tuned, I'll show you what I'm doing. And then you'll just add these little clips at the end of them to hold them, hold the shoelaces together so it won't come apart. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one today, but either way, it's in the reel. So all you do is just clip the ends and then you'll just put them inside and then fold it over, all right? So it closes the um, closes the shoelaces and gives it a nice little finish, nice little tassel, okay? So I'll probably use like the regular laces. I bought some like this. So I'll probably use the white one for today and I'll switch it out at a later date. And these laces I just got from Walmart. I'm not sure what size I'm gonna use. This one was only $2, but this one with the double pack was like $1.50. Can't beat that. And you're only using one string for one tumbler. Then up next, you are definitely going to need these D-rings. So this was the first one that I used the very first time. And I'll show you, I didn't really like these. This was in a pack of 100. Um, they're very cheap, so that way you can use these. It'll go really far for like multiple tumblers because you're only using like six to eight on one tumbler. I didn't really like these. I had a hard time um, getting them on and sticking because it wasn't flat. It wasn't flat in the back. So hopefully you guys can see that. So the front is flat, but because you have to glue it I had to put so much glue the first time um, to make it whole so I went and got these this is a multi pack of 200 but uh, I didn't like it because this one is kind of much bigger and then this one is smaller so this was the perfect size but I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna make sure the lace can fit through but you definitely need some D rings and they come with screws you won't be using the screws but all you're going to do is just glue this piece down onto the tumbler okay and i'll show you how to do that you'll also need a little tape measure you'll need sublimation tape 
Of course, you'll need a shrink sleeve bag if you're using a sublimation oven. And of course, depending upon what glue you want to use to apply it, you can either use, you know, Liquid Fusion, E6000, or you can use UV resin. The choice is up to you. So if you are using UV resin, you will need a UV light, okay? One that can particularly go over the tumbler. And now let's get started. So I'm in Silhouette Studios. This is where I do all my sublimation prints. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the file that we're gonna use for today. And mostly all of these files will be available on my website. So if you wanna create your own Tumblr, you can purchase the digital file itself and I'll have them in different bundles. So it will be listed on my website where you can come in here and you can check them out. I have so many different colors. Now red is my favorite color, but I definitely love earth tone colors as well. So I'm just gonna open up just some of them. You can even change, like you see how it says Chicago Bulls here. This one is the NBA one, um, only because this one has the different color sneakers. So you see the black and white one says Brooklyn Nets. So I might do this one because your girl is from Brooklyn. So I might do the black and white one, even though there's no real colors on it, but I can always bling it out as well. So I'll see, but I just want to show you a few different color options right here. This one, that's the state that I'm in now, in Charlotte, but I'm definitely not a Hornets fan. So if I come under the retro one, this is another popular category. Let me change it back to icons. These are the regular ones. These are all the ones that the white, black, and the color. So I have different options. You've already seen me do the short reel with the rainbow one, so I have those as well. So this one, as you can see, I have so, so when you order this bundle, you'll get so many different color options. Your customers will be able to pick any color option they want. They can match it with their favorite color or with their outfit. All right, so this is the red, black, and white. And as you can see, the top of this one says Nike Air. So this one is a little bit differently, but when you wrap it, it it's complete. So this is the retro style sneakers. This is the purple, black, and white. Listen, the possibilities are endless with these, okay? So I'm in Canva really quick because I'm gonna remove the background from my photos and I can't do that in Silhouette Studios. So I'm just gonna open up Instagram Story. I'm gonna upload my pictures really quick. This is not a tutorial in Canva, so I'm just going through this really quick just because I'm gonna show you how you can add a photo. So I'm importing my images and now I'm just gonna bring them over and I'm just gonna literally see which one I like the best. So I'm just gonna click on edit photo, remove background. Okay, I'm gonna just crop it in. And as you can see, but I'm probably gonna make this big anyway. It didn't crop, it didn't crop it clean as far as like the shoes and stuff, but that's okay. I'm gonna add another one. I have this black and white image because the sneaker is black and white. I don't really kind of like that image. I'm, I'm only considering this image because it matches with the sneaker. I have a lot of other photos, but I don't think it would work with the sneaker. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm just gonna download this one really quick. PNG, transparent background, download. All right, now I'm gonna jump back into Silhouette Studio after that finished downloading. It's gonna be a zip, so you have to unzip it only because I have more than one, so that's why. Let's see. And all I did was just drag and drop. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this one anyway. So I'm gonna make this one bigger. I don't really like the fact that, ugh. I would have had to clean this photo up some more. Clean this photo up some more. When I enlarge it really big, I don't like the, the edits. So I'm gonna edit this photo just a little bit more and then I'll be back. Um, but you can place, place it right here. All right, I am back in Silhouette Studios and now let's reopen the picture. I edit it just a little bit. And I want you to see if you can see the difference. I'm gonna bring it back over here, paste. I'm gonna enlarge it. And don't worry, I'm gonna cut off the bottom. So you can see the difference in the photo because I adjusted the photo itself and then I adjusted the dress. So now it looks a whole lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one out the way. 
I kind of want to split it. I really wish I could split half the image and then put the other side, you know, and merge it. Let's see if I can do that. So that way I'm not covering the whole Nike check. I'll be covering like this and then that. I'm going to just copy it just to make sure I don't, you know, mess it up. So I have a second one. All right, so let me move this out the way. So I'm going to go straight down the middle. I'm going to fill in this box so that way you guys can see it. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of like position it like over half, like right there. Now I'm going to select it. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm going to go to my modify panel and I'm going to crop. I was hoping that it was going to leave it. I was hoping that it was going to leave it. Okay. So now I have the second image. I'm going to put this back on top. That looks almost perfect. There we go. That's perfect now. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get a box. I'm going to color that so you guys can see it. I gotta see how I'm gonna do it. I really wanted it to split. Let me copy this again. So I know I have one side. Okay, so I need to come in to where it is perfect at. Okay, so now I'm gonna change this whole color. I'm going to change that whole color and now I'm going to put this right up here on that. Move this out the way. Now I'm going to select it all and now I'm going to go back to the modify panel. I'm pretty sure there was an easier way to do this, but let's see. Crop. Now let's see if this works. Put them back together and let's see if it's the perfect boom. And it is. All right, so now I have one solid image. Perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Delete that. And now I have two halves. So you can split your image however you so desire. That's the only thing that I could think about. But I'm going to go ahead and make this the perfect size Tumblr template. It's going to be around 8.2 by 9.2, give or take. Okay, I opened up my old template because I wanted to get the size. So this one was 9.1 by 8.1. And that one still had like a little, little wiggle room. So as you can see, this part right here, it says Nike. So this was the old one that I had did. I'm just going to make this one 9.1. Trying to make them around the same size. So every tumbler is a little different. You will need to measure your tumbler to get the correct size. So I'm going to leave my Tumblr template measured at around 8.1, 12 by 9.144. So just make sure you're measuring yours so that way you can get the correct size. All right. And I have showed that plenty of times on how to measure the Tumblr. I'm just going to put this right here like this. I want to get at least a little bit of the night check. I'm going to move that. Okay. And now I'm going to put this one on this side and that blue line and that blue line, you see this, that lets me know that I'm perfectly lined up, perfectly lined up. So when I close the sneaker, it is going to wrap and close perfectly. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay. If not, I'll have to bring the tumbler in again. All right. So I'm going to leave it just like so. You can add text. You don't have to add a photo, but I just want to show you how you can add a photo. And now I'm just going to add my name in a really nice, cool font. I like this font that I had over here. So let's see what font this was. Black sample. Okay. So now I'm just going to type out my name. I'm going to, let's see what color I'm going to use. Let's see what color. Let's go with the brighter version. 
And now we're gonna change the font. So I highlighted that, now I'm gonna come up to the top and change that, and we're gonna put in black sample. I got that font from Creative Fabrica. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. Really looks nice, really like that. And let's first see how big I want it. Then of course, we're going to create an offset. Have to create an offset so it will pop. Let's create the offset. Gonna come over here to the right. Create an offset of about, we want it nice and thick. That says 50, let's go with, I did it at about 60. So now I'm going to make this white. So I did my offset at about 60. Now I'm just gonna make it white so it'll pop. And now I'm going to put that in there, make sure that's nice and centered. Just gonna select both. I'm gonna come up here to alignment. Just gonna make sure it's centered both ways, and it is, okay? And now I'm just going to group it together. I'm trying to think, do I like this color? I want like a lighter version. A little bit lighter, there we go. And now we're going to group this so that way it doesn't move. I don't have to worry about it moving. Just gonna group both of those. And now I can move it in place and I can resize it if I need to, okay? And I like that just like that. Or do I wanna make it smaller to not cover the swoosh? Again, you can do this however you want. I think I'll keep it smaller just like that. Boom. So not to cover the sneaker. I'm liking that. Um, so the other name that I did, the other Tumblr, as you see, there's no picture. So I stretched it completely across. This one I just made a little bit smaller because I have the image. All right, so that is it. I'm going to now group everything together because I don't want it to move. And then I'm just gonna chop off the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and chop off the bottom. Gonna select a tool, just because I don't wanna have to cut it later. I don't wanna have to cut it later. So I'm just gonna cut off the bottom. I'm clicking on select trace area, and I'm just going to hover over that. Trace and detach, and take that off as well. Now this is all one piece. We definitely have to flip it horizontally flip horizontally, can't forget to do that. And I'm going to rotate it so I can fit on, on a regular letter size paper, okay? I'm really, really liking this. Now all that's left is to print it out. I'm just gonna select my printer using my 8550 um, Epson EcoTank printer for sublimation. And I'm just gonna make sure that I have borderless checked. I don't want anything cut off, so always make sure you're printing borderless. And now it's time to print. And here's my Epson EcoTank 8550. I converted this one for sublimation. I currently still have the Cosmos ink in here, but after that I will be switching to the Hippo ink because it's much cheaper. And it's still great sublimation ink. So let's see how those colors come out. I didn't do any maintenance. I don't ever hardly have to do any maintenance on this rinser. Ooh yeah, those colors look fire. Look at that. So now that I've printed my image, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out down to size, praying that it's the perfect size. All right, so first I'm gonna see if this meets and if it's the perfect size first. So as you can see, it's a little bit too, I mean, it's literally almost the perfect size but I'm just going to bring it in just a tad, I mean, and I mean a tad, and then it will be perfect because I don't want anything to overlap. I need my image to be perfectly seamless together, okay? Um, because I'm afraid if I do it like this, it will have, yeah, we need it just to be brought in just a little bit more, so I'm just gonna print it one more time. All right, so three times is a charm. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this. Make sure it's down. As you can see, it's pretty much completely flush. I'm gonna put the main side on the bottom. You wanna make sure there's no white showing. No white showing. And I'm going to now tape it. I know people. some people use those, um, those things to hold it together, but those just don't really work for me. So my hands 
are the best at holding it as tight as can be. Just making sure I bring that in, tucking that all the way under. Making sure it's as tight as can be. And now I'm just gonna make sure I take my bottom. I am going to take my bottom all the way around, folding it over. I'm folding it over because we don't want any ghosting and we don't want any space underneath. Overlapping the tape and pressing it over. And hopefully today on camera, we get a perfect tumbler. All right, so I'm not gonna tape anything else up. We are good to go, okay? Tape from top to bottom, just like that. I'm now gonna add the shrink sleeve. You can get these off of Amazon, Heat Transfer Warehouse, anywhere. Just make sure you have the correct size for the 20 ounce tumbler. And I forgot to mention you will need a heat gun when you use a shrink sleeve bag. And I'm just gonna go ahead and preheat this. I'm going to put it on 385, it should be good. Set the temperature right over here that says touch screen. And I'm gonna set the time to eight minutes. I'm gonna start it. It's gonna beep once it reaches the desired temperature. Please make sure you are using a glove. I'm used to this and I don't have it on me right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. You can sublimate at 365. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it up to three. I think I set it for 385. So anywhere from 365 degrees Fahrenheit is good. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this in and hit start. So the light on this machine goes on and off and you see I'm at the three minute mark. But when the light comes on, as you can see, once you start to see those colors pop all the way through that shrink sleeve, then you know you're pretty much done. I set it for eight minutes, but it doesn't always take eight minutes. So anywhere between six minutes, you are good. So this sublimation oven can pretty much only fit about maybe three or four. So of course, if you add more, then you might need to take the time up. So I'm about to take it out and let's see how well it's sublimated. Now I didn't have a glove to put it in, but make sure you have a glove to take it out because it is going to be hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it because I know it's ready already. Move this out the way. And as you can see, those colors look awesome, but I'm gonna let it cool off and close this up. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Cool down now. And I love this tape. This tape is from PYD Life as well. So it's really easy to use. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Ooh, baby. Oh, y'all, do y'all see that image? Like literally flawless, flawless. Perfect sublimation, top to bottom. Do y'all see that? Let's get a little closer, that nice sneaker image. Rotate it for you, see the top. I know you wanna see the image. Look at that, ring light is kind of messing it up. I'll show it again, but guys, that looks awesome. So the name is right here with the photo. I got a little small seam, it messed up right here. Just right here, you can see where it came down just a little bit, but the entire image, everything pretty much looks spot on. Can't really tell. Um, it's hard to split the image and get it seamless, but I did it as best as I could. 
All right, so I know y'all wanna know the next step. Let's get ready for the next step to take this tumbler up a notch. Now you can leave it just like this. You don't have to add shoelaces because of course it already has shoelaces. Now some of the templates I have, I'll have it in my shop with laces and some without laces. So that way, if you don't want the laces behind the laces that we're gonna add, you can do that. Because sometimes you might not wanna put white here, you might wanna add your own color. Like I might change this and put red, but this sneaker didn't come with red laces. So I might just add the red laces myself um, or add red bling. I'll see what I'm gonna do to finalize it, but I'm just gonna basically show you guys how to add the laces and then we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on my little tumbler stand. I'm gonna open up my laces and I'm hoping that it's not too long. This is 54 inches, just if you guys wanna know. And like I said, you're only gonna need one. Only gonna need one lace. You can get it shorter than this. I definitely should have bought it shorter because I definitely won't need 52, 54 inches, but we're gonna make it work. So now, again, these were the old ones I bought. So these were the old D-rings I bought, um, and you're only gonna place them like where the main holes are along the sides. Um, you wanna spread them out, right? So these are way too big, way too big. So we're gonna use this one. And you, I always lay mine with the, the hoop inside because you don't want it to show. So that way, when the string goes through it, and I'm just gonna make sure, because this one is a little smaller, make sure it can fit and it can. Perfect, so these are perfect size. So I'm gonna be using the UV resin and I'm just gonna apply it on here you want to just apply a little small amount. I uh, should have had gloves. Let me get my gloves really quick. Pause. Always want to be safe. So I'm going to apply, going to put on my gloves really quick, even though I hate working with them sometimes because they get sticky. And you just want to be careful. It only takes a little bit because you don't want it to drip. You don't want it to drip. All right, so I'm just going to put it around not on the circle part because there is a circle. You can come back and put that on later. So I'm just going to place this in and you wanna to try to place it down. And then I'm gonna hold this over just like so, just enough to get it in place and position. And as you see, I have um, one that is open, doesn't have a bottom, because you want to be able to hold it over the tumbler. So if you have a UV light that has the bottom, um, it's going to be hard. I did it because I have one where, you know, you insert your hands or insert your feet and it has the bottom. Of course I did it, but it was really hard. So I'm just going to make sure that's on there. I'll do it again. I'm just going to keep applying. So as you can see, that's the first one. That one is on there. So I'm just going to go through and apply them all. And you want to make sure they're even. You want to make sure it's even on both sides. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it this way. So the flat ones work much better. You don't want to move it around because it will shift and then the glue will get all over the place. So I'm going to hold it right there. Okay, making sure you don't get glue on the little prongs because that's what the string is gonna have to go in. Okay, the string is gonna go in that. Again, making sure it's even, evenly placed. Making sure you're not sliding. And all you're doing is holding it there. And I'm just doing 30 seconds at a time, 30 seconds at a time. And then once they're all there, I'll do a final minute. I'll try to get that off. I got a little bit of my glove. This is why I don't really like using the glove. So I'm gonna take this glove off because I got a little bit of the glove on there. It got caught in the glue.
So as you can see, I'm putting eight on here and they have some of these in gold or you can spray paint them. If you don't want silver, if you want them to be white, if you want them to be black or whatever color to match the actual sneaker, you can spray paint them if you want beforehand. But I have seen them in gold as well. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up each one with some alcohol and then I'm gonna come back and I'll just hit it with the UV light again. So I'm just gonna take some alcohol and a paper towel and just get under there. I don't wanna scratch the tumbler so I don't ever use like an X-Acto knife or anything like that. I just use the paper towel and I get off any excess that might be underneath it because it will come off. As you can see, it just came off right there. Okay, and I'm gonna hit it one more time. So as you can see, I have eight of them. All right, so now I'm gonna hit the whole thing one more time. And this time I'm gonna put it on 60 seconds. You can use regular glue. Um, I think this holds better. Some people epoxy the entire tumbler um, after this, but I don't want to epoxy this part, and I definitely don't want to epoxy the strings. There's all different type of methods, so you can do it however you want. So I've seen someone literally epoxy the entire shoelace. I want my customers to be able to take the shoelaces out, to change the shoelaces, whatever they want, and I want it to be more realistic. So I don't want it epoxy down. Um, but normally this works good. This is hand wash, hand wash. Once you put epoxy on it, once you put the bling on it, and once you add any of these D-rings, you wanna make sure that you are hand washing only, and please make sure you tell your customers that as well, because the heat will loosen the epoxy. The heat from the dishwasher will loosen the epoxy. All right, so now this is ready to go. It's secure. Um, if you want, you can even add you know, more on top of it, but I'm not going to. This one is for me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my shoelaces. So I think this one will still go because of the red. So I think I'm going to add this one in here, guys. I think I'm gonna add this one in here because I really like the sparkle. Um, but I might come back and add red laces. But let's see, this has white in it. This has white. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add the white for now. But if you wanted to do this one, like I said, all you would have to do is just cut the end. Cut the end and once you cut it, because it's one piece, so you want to loop it through, measure it out to see how much you want to tie off at the top. Then you just add the clasp at the end that they give you, that they provide you, and then just tuck it in, close it together. All right, so I think I'll just stick with the white for today. I'll just stick with the white. All right, so let's see how long this shoestring, this shoelace is going to be. So again, these laces were 54 inches. So if you want to do it once, then just make sure you get shorter laces or get the ones that you can cut. But I started from the bottom as I normally did. But when I got to the top, I just had too much left over. So then I decided to start from the top, work my way down and then back up to make it even look more fuller. And I really like the way it turned out. So you can do yours however you like. Okay, so because this one is long, I'll start from the top and then come back. And that'll make it look even more fuller anyway. So I'm making sure it's even on both sides. So now I'm gonna take it down. I never did it this way before, so let's see how it looks once I am done. Okay, and now we're gonna take it back up. Should look fly for either a hot mess. Okay, yeah, so I think that looks better. Can't really see it just yet. Okay, so I'm gonna fold those in. Make sure those are in, just like so. And now we're going to tie our sneaker. Still, you don't want it hanging too long. So this string was literally too long. So I'm just going to double tie it all right let's put this back up here so i can properly tie this 
So I got it looking much better. I like it because now the laces are full and my shoelaces are short. So I just double tied this and now that looks much better, okay? It will, you can't hardly see the D-rings. I like that these are actually small, but if you want them bigger, you can get them bigger. And like I said, if you wanna spray paint them white, you definitely can, okay? So I probably will be adding some bling to this later on, just like my other one. But for now, this is what we are rocking with. And here we are with the finished product. Let me know what you guys think. I really like this one. I love the color scape, so I will definitely probably be changing the laces out for some red laces or burgundy laces if I can find it, just so that way my photo can pop. So this is great for a graduation gift with the graduation tumbler. Um, add the photo, add the school name. You can do whatever you want to make it custom, okay? So just make sure you're measuring out your tumbler, whatever tumbler you have, so that way you can get a seamless photo. So if you wanna split your image, just make sure that you are measuring your tumbler so that way you can get a seamless, seamless tumbler. But I'm gonna show you the other one I did right here so that way you can see the comparison or you can just put your photo to the side. I didn't wanna cover up the Nike swoosh completely, so that's why I showed you I split the image in the background, okay? But some people, you know, you can add your photo even closer. I've seen it where some, where the photo is much bigger and takes up the entire back. So listen, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you see that baby got back back there. That's all me, that's all me, no BBD baby. Anyway, back to the tumbler. So I'll probably bling this out. I'll make it um, more custom. People are going to love these and eat these up. So like I said, this was the NBA design because of course it has the Brooklyn Nets. They come in all different colors, but I'll have some other templates as well, as well down below in the comments. So this is what I use for a lot of my product shots. So I just put it on here whenever I take my photos and stuff and I even have some bigger boards as well. But this is it for today's video. I really like it. I hope you guys like it. Want to show you guys how you can do it. So again, this one was the NBA template because it has the team. So I have pretty much every single team, but I have some without the teams. I have the retro ones. I have the rainbow ones. I have the one with laces. I have the one without laces. But for right now, if you want the sneaker template, um, you'll get like a number of them in a bundle where you can go on and download them and create them yourself just like you see me do. So all the digital downloads are down below in the description box under Katrina's Graceful Creations on my website. You can go down there, download it, so that way you can create your own custom sneaker tumbler. So I hope this video was helpful. All the products that I use in today's video, again, are down below in the description box as well. So where you see the description at, just click see more and it will expand and everything will be right there. I hope this video was helpful. Now before you go, you already know what you're supposed to do. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Only takes a second, helps me to keep creating content like this so that way I can keep giving you guys new fresh ideas. And if you wanna see how I created this tumbler as well, the purse strap tumbler, I'll have that link down below as well in the description box. So as always, move in grace, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy sublimation. See you later, love you, bye. I'm out.